Hi guys, today I'll show you how to create vector illustration in Blender. Yes, you can easily create vector illustrations for different purposes with highest quality in Blender using technology I'll demonstrate. Now we are in Blender. I have this model of disco mirror ball and I want to export it to my artwork in Adobe Illustrator. I have created this illustration of beautiful woman at disco club in the party dress and I want this for big prints and this illustration also to be planned, printed on the wall of building, so I need actually need high quality. As you can see, even if you enlarge any details stay in high quality, it's vectors. The illustration is created by formulas. Girl is drawn in perspective. So in case you activate perspective grid, you will see, let's do it. As you can see, horizon line is lower than eyes of model and uh, in a low point of view. If I want to demonstrate my disco ball in perspective, I need to rotate it same 3D position as my girl. So I go to Blender and uh, rotate disco ball. As you can see now we have the same perspective. It's not necessary to have exact match because it's illustration. You are able to create something close to this illustration in Adobe Illustrator, but in case you have such excellent, beautiful program as Blender, which uh, give you much, much more possibilities to prepare a 3D model, it's better, of course, to create illustration in this program. I want to make stylized view of uh, disco ball made of glowing lines in the same manner my illustration is, and uh, I'll do it. So, to prepare vector illustration from 3D model in Blender, you need to do three things. First, activate freestyle mode. Second, activate plugin that uh, give you possibility to export vector from Blender, and set specify directory for rendered vector files. Let's prepare camera view. If you want this orientation to match angles in the camera rendering, you need to press combination of Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 or go to menu, find here align view and select align active camera to view. Now you will render the necessary camera angle. Let's do first render. Press render image or F12. You can see our model is rendered in standard Blender's way as a raster file. So let's do three things. Activate freestyle, activate plugin for vector export and specify directory. Go to tab render properties, specify render engine EV because it's much quicker and then go to freestyle and activate it. Place mark near freestyle. Now freestyle is activated and the line thickness put to 0.5. Because this vector file you will be able in future to change thickness in Illustrator. But let's check what will happen. If we render image after rendering standard pixel mode, you will see that now we achieved such kind of line art at the top of our pixels image. Let's do the second scene. Open your preferences, edit preferences, go to add-ons tab, press SVG in search bar and you'll see that there is plugin render freestyle SVG export. Enable add-on, press mark near this freestyle exporter and close preferences window. Now as you can see, a new position appear in render properties. Freestyle SVG export. 
Let's activate it. Now we did second thing. We activated Freestyle SVG Expert. And the third, it's actually not exactly necessary, but will give you possibility to understand where the files go. We open our folder, create new folder vectors. And you can see now folder for output is vectors. Actually, for this artwork, we only need our vector illustration. So we are ready to create our vector illustration in Blender. All you need to do now is render image. On the screen of Blender, everything is the same. You received artwork in pixels. But in case you'll check inside folder vectors, you can see that a new SVG its vector format file appears. We can take this file and put it directly to Illustrator. Voila! Let's check, is it really a vector file? Yes, in uh, outline mode everything is in points, in formulas, exactly the same position that we need. So we can take this artwork and put it to our final illustration. Great! As you see, now I have all object at the background of my model at the same angle that she's drawn. Because you are in vector mode, you are able to specify thickness of lines. I made them slightly thinner. And I also select the whole image and uh, convert outlines to field elements and uh, Add this nice gradient to our artwork. 3D object located at exact place in my vector illustration with highest possible details. Actually, everything I need now is to save my Illustrator file and it's ready for business. At the end of this tutorial, I'll be glad to remind you what you need to export files in Blender. First, activate freestyle mode. Second, activate plugin SVG vector export and set specify your export directory. If you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to specify this in your comments and of course give it your like. It was Andrew Trotsevich with Blender and Illustrator. Peace.